What do you guys think of the new relic hunting, deer hunting, bass fishing, morel foraging, herping wagon? I like it. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, the uh, old red motor shot. So had to get rid of the uh, old red. So I was like, I got to get something that all the kids can fit in. And I got it just in time for softball season. But anyways, guys, we have seriously been on top of the relics for, for a good six months. Um, I mean, we've always found stuff, but our past five, six videos, if you haven't watched them, go check them out, especially our water hunts. In this video here, you're going to see at least, at least three people dig some pretty impressive firsts. You'll also see me finally dig my white well right on the edge of development i mean almost in the bulldozer tracks i didn't think it was going to happen but it did and you'll see it in this video if you're not subscribed to the channel i think at the beginning of the video is when i'm supposed to uh encourage that i don't do that enough so yeah just if you like metal detecting or if you just like adventure videos consider subscribing to the channel um but other than that yeah this uh this property that we're detecting is being developed and a lot of the items that we're finding right on the edge of development. So we've been really hitting it hard and the, the hard work's paid off as you'll see in this video. I hope you enjoy. How about let's uh, cue that throwback intro. We haven't seen it in a while. Let's cue that now. <laughs> I've just been digging nothing but iron and this was the crappiest signal I, I just knew it was gonna be a piece of a nail but I'm gonna let them come over here and look in the hole I haven't touched it it's still in situ see it. <laughs> you see it yeah pull it out Joe oh please be good please be good An eagle. There's an eagle. I think it's. He dug an eagle A button here. Jason did. He got everything on it. Still intact. I can't look at any rub over here. All right, I'm gonna uh, clean this up a hair and see if there's anything on the shield, and we're gonna start digging everything. All right, guys, what? I got it. I got it cleaned up. Kinda. I mean, I just, Wait. I just took a, a stick to it. It's an eagle eye button. Dang, it's been a minute since I dug a button. Sweet, Joe, you got to get digging, baby. You sent me to the briars. Hold on, girls and thumbnails do better. Will you hold it up no, and pretend I'm not, like you? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over here by the very edge of the the development. Brandon just popped something decorative. We're not sure what it is. It's got um like a flower design on it. So let us know if you know what that is. Right on the edge, man. <laughs> Probably another week and this stuff's gonna be impossible to get. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad we decided to come because that everything we have found could be gone next week. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we're getting it out now. Yeah, because like you can tell where that bottle is right there. And the development is just like slowly coming this way. All the equipment's parked down there. Now I imagine probably within the next week it's all going to be, all this is going to be tore up. So let's keep digging. I don't know what I just dug. I've got 
got the same signal right there that you had right here. I got Brandon. I got Brandon to come swing the Equinox over because it was the the AT Pro was losing it from one angle, and we both were like, "Yeah, we're gonna dig. We'll both dig that signal all day long." It's not whole, but <laughs> what is this, guys? I am shaking. That looks like a puppy paw, don't it? It does. Oh my God, it dude! Does. <laughs> dude, is that my? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Brandon, get this out of my hand, dude. Get some dirt off of it. Oh my god. Oh. I hope did I cut it in half? Oh my god, please no. Even if I cut it in half, I don't care. Because I don't sell nothing anyways. Oh my god. I hope I didn't cut it in half. Oh man, dude. What is it? <laughs> it's an S. It's an S. It's an S. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that a Amanda, hurry up. Run. <laughs> what did you find? You <laughs> want a fight? No, no, that's a bell I am serious. Amanda is. <laughs> Run. <laughs> For real. <laughs> oh, just wait. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta. I, I might have. I might have cut it in half, though. Look at that. <coughs> oh man, I'm shaking. I oh hope you didn't God. cut it. In I half. Heard, Is there anything I heard else the in there? Yeah, over here. down in that corner. All right, we're gonna live dig this one. We're not far from where I dug. I dug the S there. We're looking for the U. Or C. <laughs> or C. And Brandon's got a signal that's reading exactly like the you was. Did it get better or worse? Better. Better. Solid 21 now. Wait, I've, I've not dug any modern trash. Where'd it go? Flip the plug over and touch the top of the plug. Dang, yours is, you got yours on just, three? I just turned it up. Might be a dang coin. Ants always seem to be. Must be silver. Where'd it go? It was coming in solid too. Oh, there it is right there. It's a button, a flat button. Another one? No, it <laughs> might not be a flat button. It might be a. <laughs> Two flat buttons in one day, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> right here, man. <laughs> Golly, it's turn Joe, go get a machine. What are you doing with your life? I've almost got enough buttons to make a coat. <laughs> <laughs> what a day we're having, guys. What a day we're having. Oh, I know. Daddy's got to go, but he did dig something weird. Hold it up. So, let us know if you know what that is. It's like hand forged iron. It's just weird looking. Daddy's gotta go right when we start finding stuff. Just hurry back. Oh yeah. Do what, buddy? This thing. You found that? Uh -huh. An old lid? It doesn't look like a Look what lid. I found. <laughs> Civil War button. Pretty cool, huh? I didn't know. I didn't know it was a lid. It looks like a lid. It looks like stick man to me. That looks like a gun. It does. Yep. All right, buddy. We gotta watch out for them nails. <laughs> What's up, guys? I told Brandon that uh, I was gonna dig one more target before we did the wrap up, since we did find some. We did have a good day, so. I actually dug two targets because the one was a nail and I wanted to kind of end it at least with something non-ferrous. 
And I just did that. Check it out. Cool little suspender clip. Pretty sweet. Excuse the wind, guys. We're um, at the spot that they're developing, and Charlie just found up there where they've piled a bunch of wood up and old roller, an old <laughs> skate. And um, we learned about skates last week, so I'm going to bring it to my class after we wash it and show it to my teacher. Cool. Right here. Boom. Watch out for nails up there and snakes, okay? okay? All right, Brandon says he's got a button. Dude, is that a flatty? Uh, is that a flat button? Looks like it. Is that your first flat button? Second. Second? Yeah. Oh, dude, is. that is nice. Flatty. Oh, wow. That's the only one I found with a shank on it. The other one didn't have a shank. What did it ring up? Well, it was 19 on here, so oh, yeah. probably 80 on your machine, close to 80. I don't want to mess around with that shank too much. <laughs> Might have a back mark on it. That is sweet, man. Two buttons back to back. Yeah. That's going to be probably pre sieve there. Soldier probably had it on, though. It's got something. I can't see it, though. I dug one close by that uh, said London on the back. Sweet, man. Right here, dude. Bam! Well, eat up with some chiggers. Yeah. <laughs> we just got here. It didn't take us long, did it? No, not long at all. I'm using Brandon's machine because Amanda's got all my stuff in her car and it did good for me. Um, we got a button here and I think that it is falling to pieces. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's falling to pieces on me. Yeah, it's the front. What a shame. There's not gonna be any saving that baby. Man, that's that is a shame right there. I just was hoping that I'd be able to ID it. It's probably another eagle eye. I got some toothpicks in the truck. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll handle it in a little bit. Well, there's the back. Watch out, Sasa. Alright guys, this is my third target. That that kind of looks like it might be a piece of. Watch out, Silas. Kind of looks like it might be a piece of piece of artillery. We'll have to get out and see. I have to cut this off and cut it back on. I'll show you what it was when I get it out. All right, guys, I got it out. Brennan's got it here. I think. Now I don't know my artillery because I haven't dug a whole lot of it, and y'all know me. I don't learn stuff till I dig it. But I think that that's going to be a piece of. Uh, is it a Hotchkiss shell? I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Y'all let me know, all right? I know you will. Y'all definitely let me know when I'm wrong about something, especially when I call a gray morel a black morel. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Dang, this day's starting out good. Well, guys, I doubt this is going to be a cannonball, but just in case, I figured, figured I'd pull my camera out and uh, try to get it out of the hole one-handed grounds pretty hard it was reading like one nah. I'm not sure what that is I have no idea I've never seen nothing like that before in my life Any ideas? Cause I have no idea. Well, I mean, this isn't an amazing find or anything, but it's cool when it happens. Pop the, uh, dug down, pop the plug, check the hole, got a nail out. Got the nail out, it was sounding a little bit better. Um, started to go deeper and this popped out. It's a marble. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Brandon's hollering at me. He's saying it's a first. Glad it ain't whole. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shout out to Jeff. It's pouring out down. First time. 
James said, I'm sick and tired. I thought hundreds of days. I don't even know. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. You better get. Hey, it might have a uh, pat in there. Spur. Spur. Here you go. Half. Half. Dude, that is sweet, man. man. That's awesome. Did it send a thrill up your leg? Yeah. It always will. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Right here. Boom. All yeah. right, Jason. He just dug what we think might be a piece to a buckle. Um. By looking at it from the front, there's definitely something on the front, but the back is what's kind of got me excited. Yeah, it's lead with some kind of wire hook or something. In it. That's, this thing was deep too. That, did you read? Did you check your hole after you got no, it? No, I hadn't checked it again. <laughs> Let's go. I'll film you check it right quick, cause uh, the rest might be in there. Hey, you see, I was about. Yeah, probably about seven inches. Uh oh. Oh, it's still in there. Oh, yeah, there's more of it. Yeah, I'd bring that hole back <laughs> some, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would almost guarantee that, that that's what that is. Watch it be an S. <laughs> <laughs> or a U, I mean. <laughs> what do you got, the S? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that don't sound like much of it. Not unless it's running that way. Yeah. Could be. <sighs> yeah, that's a little piece of it. That's part of a letter, I believe. Sure is, man. I can't tell what letter, but it's... Looks like it. We'll, we'll get some cleaning on it, and I'll cut this thing back on. We're pretty sure that what uh, Jason dug was part of a, uh, some sort of plate. Um, he, I, I'll get him to send me a picture when he gets it cleaned up. But he dug these yesterday close to where Brandon, which y'all will see that earlier in this video, he dug it close to where Brandon dug his. We got two pewters pewter. and... Uh, Two brass flat buttons. And flat buttons don't come up in Georgia too often, do they? These, I've been hunting this place a while. These are the first ones I found. I found four in one night. <laughs> yeah, I think all together, I think I've dug five flat buttons in Georgia. Yeah, that's probably about all I've dug. Yeah, they don't come up I don't often. Know exactly. But... I mean, we just think, we, uh, our county just don't go back that far, you know? I mean, yeah. it does, but not into the 1700s or nothing, you know? Yeah. So, all right, well, we're going to swing a little bit longer and. Hopefully get a few more things out of the ground for you guys to watch before uh, I have to go home and drink some beer and play cornhole. So, stick around. What is I was literally just saying, I can't believe just old silver hadn't come up. And then this dude hollers, <laughs> I got silver. We don't know if it's old yet, but come here, let me, let me get right here right quick. I predict a 1963 Rosie. It better not be. <laughs> <laughs> Pop it, pop it, pop it. 1889. Oh. All right, you're going to have to come over this way, please. I can't see. It's no, seated. No, it's is it seated? Oh, my. Seated. Seated. <laughs> seated. <laughs> Brandon. Hey, and I was literally just saying, I can't believe no old silver's not come out of here. I picked the wrong people to bottom feed under. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Had to make a decision. <laughs> Let me see it. Look at that. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, it's not. It looks mean. Unfortunately, what? you nicked it and it's post war. But, dude, it's your first seated dime. You didn't nick it, I'm just kidding. There's no but way it, I nicked it because it's in the book. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Is that that's 1876, right? Man, I guessed 89. <laughs> Dude, that thing's got some meat on it. Is it 1876? <laughs> Think. Oh, no, that's seated. Let me see. Oh, it's seated. Oh, it is 76, right? 76 quarter over there. Yeah, yeah it's 76. Who cares, though? Dude, it's seated. That's the centennial. That thing's pretty. That thing's going to be in good shape. It's a musky dog. 
It looks, it looks mint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Britain said it's a musket dime. Ain't ah, nobody got no uh, foo foo. Stop! Uh, I got some in the car. <laughs> We got Quit throwing stuff. That's awesome, beer. dude. Right here, you having a good day, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. You killing it today. That's wild. Right on. Man. Everybody's having uh, a good day. We need some water. Yeah. Uh, we'll clean it up. Yeah, we'll clean it up and I'll and I'll cut this thing back on. I think it might be aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's messing with Reproduction. us. Reproduction. Oh. There you go. This is gonna be a little rough. It's probably the one that's facing up. I thought, I thought I thought I don't know. It looks like it's gonna be in good shape. Oh yeah, yeah. it's in good shape, dude. I'm still shaking. <laughs> I know, dude. All right, let the cameraman see it. <laughs> I got a dang dig. Dang, that thing looks like it was dropped. You can read the Liberty plain as day on the shield. Oh, that's awesome. And he no, said it's seated. I can see the whole thing. Only <laughs> wall watch Hey, don't clean that old stain no, off of it, man. That stain was good. <laughs> Shovel, Congratulations, man. I don't know. Nah, -uh. no mint mark. Did they like Chucky or Chucky? Right on, dude. 1876. <laughs> Is that your oldest coin to date? Yeah. Oldest one. Daddy, 1876. <laughs> I'm swinging. <laughs> All right, here with uh, James Mullinax, and he is on the board yeah. with a fired musket ball I think it's a rock <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a rock nah. you're stupid nah, it is it is alright James is on the board daddy's probably about to sell his machine <laughs> daddy you found anything <laughs> he said he found enough nails to build a house alright he, he hollered at me let's, let's see what it is what is it Oh, is that off of a flintlock? Is that a hammer? I, I thought it was the end of a spur. No. Is it not? I think that's iron off a roll? gun, man. That's what he said, but that's I thought it was the end of a spur. Like a, look like a, a, tri a hammer. That looks you know, like, yeah. Cock it, like yeah, that's what that is, man. Like I think that's a little more awesome than a piece to a spur. Just me personally. <laughs> well, I want a part of a spur. <laughs> I mean, it's brass. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I take part of a gun. But. I think I mean don't don't I wouldn't I don't wouldn't. quote me but when I first saw it that's what I thought but I don't know well call Terry he's the one that planted it here <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> good that's either way e either way it's a good find man that's awesome hold on that is yeah that because that's the wheel that's the roll yeah yeah you're right I think yeah, it is. Yeah, row. That's the word. Rowl, I, yeah, because you can see the iron pieces. Yeah, in that's there. what I was thinking. But yeah, I, mean, I wasn't bad. sure. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you turn it. You turn it like this. You can tell. See that? See the iron coming out right yeah, there? It broke part of the spur. Yeah. But was it? It's got that knot on the end of it. Though. That's what got me. The knot on the end of it. I don't know. That's. I think that's what they call a rooster head spur. Rooster. Do you hold it like that? It looks yeah, like a rooster head. Yeah, it looks hey. exactly like a rooster head. Right here, man. Yeah, I'll take that. Hey, what a little <laughs> evening it's been. Yeah, we for did real. Get all kind of crazy stuff. That is crazy. All right, I got to dig. I've been talking too damn much. So, so you came across it. You thought it was full, yeah. and you left it here. I just dug a seat of dime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you can be a little choosy. All right, we think this. We think this is a, a Civil War button, but now that I'm filming, it's probably not. I see gold gilt, don't you? So do I. <laughs> Dang, man, this soil is eating them up, though, ain't it? Yeah, bad. It's, in, it's toasty, just like that other one. Look at that gold gilt, though. That's crazy to eat up like that. Still have gold gilt all over. Uh, it's got gold gilt on it, but it is ate. It is ate up. That's definitely what that is, though. I mean, it's just gonna crumble. Yeah. Can't wait. It's still got gold on it. You can see where the shank was in the middle right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Two buttons and neither one of them will be identified. That's a dang, dang shame. Yeah, it sucks. What's up, guys? We are back out here at the development zone. Sorry for the wind. First decent target I've dug so far. I think that's a blinder for a pocket watch. I didn't hit it. It was in the plug right there. 
Um, it's just, I think it's pewter kind of coming, chipping off and stuff, but we'll keep going. I'll take it. That's sweet. Literally in the bulldozer tracks. Shank intact. Try to get a little bit of that off. I have to clean it up when I get home. I don't want to take too much of that patina off. Sweet. Let's keep going. All right, guys, we are back at the soon to be developed uh, camp. And look what Brandon has in his hand. It's a triangle. Is that your first one of those? Yep. Sweet, dude. I got to figure out where the uh, interference is coming from. I've switched uh, over to Brandon's AT Pro because mine broke. The little screw broke. And I turned his on and on all frequencies it's chirping like crazy. So I got to figure out what's going on with that. I might have to take the batteries out and put them back in. Yeah. All right, dude. First hole, right? Yeah, it sounded horrible too. Did it? I was reading like six on my machine. And it wasn't that deep either, was it? <laughs> That's weird. All right, well, let's, let's go onward. It looks like I should be morel hunting in here instead of metal detecting. For those of you that uh, missed the last video, pretty good little morel video I put together, I think. But anyways, I'm down here in a trash pile, essentially. Just trying to pick out good, solid, consistent, numbered signals. Wouldn't you know it? Do you see it? I finally got a bullet over here on this property. That makes me feel a lot better. There's probably still stuff over there near that cedar tree where we've been finding stuff, but I got I had to mix it up. Onward. Well, I'm still out here in the trash pit. You know, I got a lot of hobbies that take me to a lot of places out in the woods and I find a lot of weird stuff. And here's just another one of those weird items that I find while out in the woods. I mean, it's a daggum coconut. with a strange, strange look on its face. I mean, this coconut looks like it just seen a ghost. Don't it? Oh my God. Onward. <clears throat> I wanna give a shout out to one of the subscribers that is uh, initially, I believe, from the county that I'm in right now. He caught wind of where I was hunting and he sent me an email and uh, he kind of pointed me in a direction of somewhere that I might want to check out. He did warn me that it was thick, but that's never bothered me. I mean, I'll go where the buck rabbits are at if I have to, if I feel like it hadn't been hit as hard. So Festus Haggins, thank you for the, uh, for the tip. I tip my hat to you, and I hope that I'm able to detect with you soon. This is my third target in the area that you pointed me towards. We got another mini ball. So thank you, sir. I really do appreciate it, earnestly. Onward. I found this piece and I said it looked like it come off the pocket knife. And less than six inches away, I dug another hole in this pocket knife. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Where's the pocket knife? It's up there. Oh, is it? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. <clears throat> I'm over here next to the silt fence where they've cut through the briars and I figured there'd be signals, but there's not. There's I dug half of a horseshoe and that's it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll dig a buckle or something on the way back to the truck. Be nice. <clears throat> These allergies are killing me. Brandon, you just never know what kind of day you're gonna have when it comes to this detect detecting. You dang sure don't. All right, so Brandon, start. We'll start off with Brandon. He got some horse tack. We think that's what a bit. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, here's that decorative piece he dug. Let us know if you know what that is. Pick that 
that one later. I'll get him to send me pictures if he's able to make out any of the writing on them. These things right here don't come up much in Georgia, so anytime you dig in one, you want an old site. So, and then I dug some, uh, we think this is a chair wheel. <laughs> it goes into the bottom of a chair. I don't know what that was doing out here. Dug a, a iron buckle. Dug a eagle eye. Weird chunk of lead. I dug that after the uh, half of the plate. A buckle. I don't know if it's a box plate or a buckle. I'm not sure. It's small. It's probably a buckle. Um, it scared me though because I saw that right there, that curvature in the hole, and I knew it was lead because I saw the white. I thought it was the bottom to the other half of that. I dug this suspender clip and my very first That's buckle. Profile. It's got the, both of the uh, things. We're pretty sure it's a U.S. buckle, but let us know if you think that it could have possibly had a C right there, because I'm pretty interested to know what you think. Um, I'll, I'm also going to ask around to some of the other guys that have been digging out here, because like I said, this place is about to have houses all over it, um, to see if anybody else has dug the other half of that. It'd be cool to kind of meet up with them and put them side by side and take some pictures. All right, we're gonna do a quick little wrap up. Uh, Jason, how long have you been out here, man? You put Probably your time in today. Four hours, yeah. Four. four or five hours, something like that. All right, so we're going he's laying all his stuff out while he's laying his out. I dug what this little piece is like a lid or something. About gave me a heart attack. Dug a little flat button. I think that's a, a flattened or smushed bullet. Um, Daddy dug a pocket knife, which is a pretty cool little pocket knife. Um, and he dug some campfire lead. Jason, he dug two two flat buttons today. Yeah, two flat buttons. Two flat buttons flat today, button. and on the inside, it's like one of the ones that I dug. It says London huh? on the inside. Yeah. Um, he dug the uh, three ringer, and this is one of the coolest finds I've seen in a while. It's like a little bell. It's brass. It's got some gold gilt still on it, and the and the and the dingle hopper still in there, <laughs> whatever it's called. It's still in there, and he dug a decorative little uh, flower button. Still got the shank. Little tiny button. And you said this was a, a, a nail uh, a uh, for a gun? Screw. A gun screw? Yeah. Um, suspender clip and what's a uh, uh, three-pronged fork. Oh, yeah, I, dug, I did dig a... Uh, an old iron spoon head. Yeah, Dale, Dale dug a fork same time I dug that one. Just yeah. like it. Where's that? Did you get, you still got that mystery piece that looked kind of like a piece to a spoon? I was going to ask the internet if they if they know what it might be. Let us know if you know what this might be. It's kind of, it's flat on one backside, but it almost looks like it might have been run over or something. One, I don't know. It's not pewter. I don't know even know what kind of metal it is. Well, you killed it, man. Yeah, not a bad day. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I might have enough.